even though we were working entirely separately, the, both the strategic plan and the Title III came up with the exact same directions, the exact same um, priorities that the college needed to pay attention to. And I was just so excited about the serendipity of that. Well, she was our first, uh, she was the first president of the faculty professional staff senate. She was a real pioneer uh, and uh, led the way. She created the mold. Uh, she's, uh, I, I remember those early emails that came out while she was president. Long emails uh, sort of uh, keeping us all in touch with what was going on. It was a, tr it required a tremendous amount of work, but she was, she was so good and so diligent at it. Uh, it was a real model. One of the things she did for the program each year when election times would come around, it would be to create the ballot box. So <laughs> she'd go all out and create a, a beautiful ballot box that the students could do a mock election. I remember that she's always ready and willing to work and make everybody's work easier. His experience and the relationship that he has with the people in his building. What I'll miss about my colleagues is what I appreciate about them and that's the generosity and it's a generosity not only with their uh, ability to share their work and their time and their energy um, but it's a generosity of spirit. I will always treasure the, um, the warmth of BCC and the people I've met here and the sense of commitment that people have whether they're students who are committing to their futures, and they inspire me so much. I, you know, I just feel um, fortunate to have been in a place to observe um, the learning and the growth of students. And I really enjoyed working here, and um, goodbye, it was fun. And I think I'll always remember how generous my colleagues are with their time and with themselves. The tremendous professionalism and cooperation that I have always felt and I know others have always felt within the department, within Duval Street, um, the Workforce Institute here, and also across the board. Whenever we have needed uh, assistance from any of the other departments, they were right there to help. I've worked with so many different people, uh, supervisors, um, co-workers. They are so upbeat, so helpful. They've been wonderful. And retiring, um, it's like BCC was the second family to me. And when I retire and I look back, I will have no regrets. How fabulous most of them are. You know, you ask somebody to help you, there's no hesitation. It's just, they're right there for you, you know. Yeah, no matter what you do, there's, there's always somebody there to help. I'd like to uh, ask, them to come, excuse me, ask them to come forward. Uh, uh, if everyone could uh, gather here. And <clears throat> first person we'd ask for the stage is Helen Gendrides. Helen Gendrides. Helen joined Bristol Community College as a staff associate counselor in the Fall River Adult Basic Education Program on October 16, 2001, and continued to work in the ABE program until her retirement, February 18, 2014. Would you welcome and recognize Helen Jadrak? short and sweet. It's been an amazing ride with a lot of fantastic people. <laughs> Next, I'd like to invite Lourdes Goulet. Lourdes, would you join me? BCC in 1999.